Hey, people, how you guys doing? But, um, I was going to say something. Oh, yeah. I was going to say that you should not let people pull you down. You should not think that you're ugly because you are not. Like I say, the way you're going to make yourself look ugly is two ways. By your attitude or the way you think that you're ugly. Your mindset is basically different. If you are positive, you don't have to be positive like every every time and say, oh, stuff like that. But when you wake up in the morning and you look at yourself in the mirror and just thank God for who you are. Not what other people are. Other people are other people. Other people do other things. Other people say different things. Other people act different ways. You not other people. You are something special. And I said again, every one of us has something special, but it has to depend on basically on you. What are you going to do with your future? With what you gonna do with your life? So, so you don't have to do what everybody else do. Like, don't judge me, challenge. You don't have to do that. You don't have to join the gang. You don't have to join the mafia. You don't have to, you know, do wrong things. You can flip it. Like, you can see somebody doing something wrong and do the opposite of that. You can still go to school. You can still get your education. That's a challenge. You should have done. You know, it's a challenge for each and every one of us to still go to school, to still get our education. And if you aren't married, it's never too late for both couples to still go back to school. If you dropped out, you still can go to school. If you, if you are homeless, you still can go to school because the government can pay for it, you know. It's never too late. Like I said before, if you give up on yourself, you're never going to succeed like that. So just don't give up on yourself. Other people give up on you, but that doesn't mean you have to give up on yourself also. Because you, you have God and he's, more than, he's greater than, than anything. So keep telling yourself this. I can do all things to Christ who strengthens me. More you say it, more you believe it, more you will achieve your goal. Your faith should keep, like, like I said before, if you're in God's corner, you will win every battle. But if you're in the devil's corner, you will lose every battle. Because the devil does not care about you. The devil don't love you. The devil don't even need you. But guess what? I love you, and I don't even know you. And I can tell you is, you are so greater than you think or than you imagine yourself to be. I don't think you are ugly. I think you are pretty in your own way. I think you are so handsome in your own way. I think you are smart in your own way. I think you can achieve your goal. I don't even know you. I can say these things. But like I said, I don't have to say it. But you have to basically realize something about you is different, is greater, it is awesome. And when you find it, then, then do something about it. So like I say, this is the message for you all on this earth, in this planet. Don't give up. I'm going to say it again. Don't give up. Don't think that you are ugly. Because if you do, you are ugly. Telling yourself you are ugly every day when you wake up and don't do that. You are beautiful in your own kind of way. No matter what people tell you. No matter what the flesh tells you. No matter what the devil tells you. No matter what your heart tells you. No matter what you feel, you are never ugly. You are pretty. You are handsome. 
and you are gorgeous in your own way. Just believe it. Just seek it. Just say it. My message to you is don't give up and don't put yourself down. Because you put yourself down, everybody around you and everybody in your school will also put you down because you put your down you put you you put yourself down in the first place. So before you do something in the internet, before you want to do a challenge, think about this. Will it build each and every people on this planet up? Or will it build you up? Or will it drag you straight down to the ground? Or will it drag other people down? Before you do something, please think, please, please sleep on it and then get the answer off that. And new challenge that we all should do is read a book 24 hours, 7 days a week. However you want to do it, just read a book. Even though you're not in school, you can still do school things because by the time you go back to school, all the things that you learn and you wrote it down, you take a like piece of paper, you writing it down and you gain, you know, you gain like, I don't know how, what's the thing called? You gain the answers from the book. So when you go to school, you go be like, and you get a test, you be like, boom, I know these things. Because I studied that. Even though I was in the summer. But like I say, it's your summer. It's your life. It's your future. Before you do something, please think about it first. And keep doing what you do. But like I always say, be safe. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. Hang out with your friends and family. God bless you. God loves you. God bless you, and I do too. See ya.